a ride. Yeah. Woo. Holy fuck, it's only like, what, 72, 73, and I am sweating like a pig out here. I am sweating like a pig, because the humid, humidity is like over 60%. Normally, usually you have a heat wave. Usually, like, during the daytime, the humidity is like down 20, you know, when the sun sets after it cools out. I mean, humidity is like 30, 40%, but it's like over 60. I mean, you still got a little bit of onshore air coming in, but it's not enough, because the high pressure is just so strong, it's just trapping the hot air. And that's the thing. And I found out where I thought it was gonna heat, we're going to heat wave my last Friday. No, they were saying, no, we're going to have, last year Sunday, so at night, and they're calling for a 90 plus a day degree. Yeah, it's supposed to be 92 on Sunday, then we get the cool air, then it's going to be, then we'll get that good push. Then we'll get typical summer weather, like low, mid-70s, yeah. But yeah, that holds, that'll be a record in Puget Sound, Seattle area, six days in a row of 90 plus degrees. We've done it, we've had many, four, maybe five, but six, man, that's crazy, yeah. Almost crazy like tooth and that, but we'll get that in a second. But for now, we'll speak on some sports. Heck yeah, the Mariners. Yeah, the Mariners swept the Rangers. Heck yeah. So they're on the right track all over again. Heck yeah. <laughs> and who would have thought the Astros would get swept? <laughs> wow. We're seeing in baseball, the A's swept them. Crazy. Yeah, the, the Mets took the Subway Series. They beat the, beat the Yankees in the walk-up home run in the ninth. Yeah, yeah, Max Scherzer pitched a phenomenal game. I think he only gave a couple hits, no runs, and the Yankees tied up in late, but the well, Mets prevailed the ninth. Heck yeah. I think that's their, saying that's their ninth walk off in the Subway Series, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I heard I heard news about Brittany Grinder. Uh, USA is trying to make a deal for Russia, maybe trying to stage a, one, uh, one of the prisoners or something like that. People say, oh, she just let it play out. Well, if Brittany Griner gets, if she can convict it, she can face 10 years. Yeah, but it's kind of crazy, you know, all, all the cannabis, you know, you know vape cartridges like that. And the cannabis that she has is, is prescribed by a doctor. It's not, if she didn't, for a reckoning, she, re, re, she used, everybody's bitching them all. Oh, she should just stay over there. Well, she, you know, I think it's, no, well, I think we do need to get Brittany Griner home. I mean, come on. I mean, the whole WNBA revolves around her. Her wife misses her. The Phoenix Mercury miss her. Heck, you know, it's time to get her home. You know, it's like, why punish somebody if over a mistake? You know, like that mistake, like, you know, when you, t it's like when you, um, yeah, when you, when you forget to turn the lights out. Yeah, that's a mistake. When you forget to turn the water off uh, or like you're wandering on, forget to turn it off. That's a mistake. Marrying a 12-year-old, a little girl when you're 17 is not a mistake. And especially when you're head, uh, she, uh, uh, the chief of the police department, yeah, sodomizing and raping a, a, a child for seven years. Not a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, let's get on to the two of us. Yeah. So they just keep doubling down, swinging in for the fences. Yeah. Boy, they really need that contract, huh? Because they know all-star bring is... They, 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 they want to get that called out to the show. Especially if fell among his little men being butt, butt, little butt, butt buddy bitches. You know? <laughs> it's funny how Viley's jumping on the bandwagon and J-Man. I remember months ago, J-Man, you guys... I mean, he was used to be cool, then he only went quiet. Now he's taking swings at, at, he's taking swings, and he's taking swings at Aaron, too. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's going around saying, he said he's going to, like, he goes around and says, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get you and kill your dog, Cox, or shit like that. Or he's making bullshit, like, say, oh, I need to prove, I need to show proof. He said, oh, you, oh, see, man, you need to show proof. Show your receipts. Yeah. Yeah, and like what, Philemon does it, has it? Yeah, he, he doesn't show receipts. All he shows is stupid old screenshots and, and uh, mirroring videos. That's what he does. That's not show receipts. <laughs> I got their screenshots and receipts, but do I have to show them? I don't have to show them to pukes like J-Man, Vitaly, and, and, little, and the little Mimi and Cuck bitches. Fuck no. I'll show it in like a... I'll show, you know, to like the, the real supporters, subscribers, and friends and whatnot. Heck Yeah. <laughs> And it's funny that Philemon's deflecting and said, well, I don't know Mark Connors. He'll sit there's like, like, find your priest. I don't know him. I don't know Todd and CD or Stony Stone. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or then you got, like, people like, you know, like, uh, Alan Krebs, uh, Gary D. DiPietro, White Knight for Sex Offenders, putting up a show with Todd and CD, Stony Stone, and, uh, yeah, David Trent. Yeah. That guy's a, a sex offender as well, too. Yeah. And you especially got Mike Carnes who doing him to go. Yeah, he got convicted, but he doesn't have to register. Just like the two cops I said, one in Florida and one in Tennessee. Yeah, don't don't even. Have, I mean, 
they get plead guilty, but they get no jail time. Yeah. And I mean, it's just crazy. I think it's also crazy that, you know, that Chu Shi is, uh, is trying, to, uh, trying to blow gas in the flames, too. But you know, that's for another video, another time. But what I do find funny, I'll bring this up, is too, he said, no cop can't be trusted. That means, he said, even the dirty cops and the ones that sodomize women and children, oh, yeah, they can be trusted. Yeah. And, and, and like, these people will go around and sit there and say, oh, the new, oh, oh it, it's fake news. It's made up. Oh, they got the wrong, no, they got the wrong, it's like, they got the wrong, wrong uh, victim. Yeah, kind of like what these... Kind of like Mikey, maybe these uh, Shield Bay, Silicon Larf, you know, they're trying to project and, yeah, protect real sick and project for their little pedo handout money. Google, 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 yeah. Trying to get the wrong dogs, yeah. Say they're going to kill your pets, they're going to go after your family. Yeah, you got these motherfuckers that say, yeah, say I'm a dead man walking. Oh, you're good as dead. We're coming after you, semen. You're going to get knocked out after the three cow. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and I, I say, yeah, and they sort of say, well, if we, I say, the law enforcement, if, if, I say, yeah, the law enforcement don't want to do something about you soon. We will. We're coming to get you. Yeah. I say, you are a marked man, blah, 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 blah. They're sitting there saying, I would, like, I would harm a pet or a child or something like that. Get the fuck out of here. I'd never been questioned by the cops for hurting a child or a woman because I don't. I would, and I certainly don't sit there and stalk, harass children and women. Fuck no, come on. <laughs> I also think it's funny is that Lark Buster's account goes around and sit there and say, oh, any, has a, anybody who watches uh, the Poacher Channel is not a parent is, is suspect as fuck. Yeah, like Philemon says, oh, them Poacher Channels, uh, the people that run it are, are freaks and creeps and sells. Really? No. They're, it's called people like that are citizens because... The police budget is so is so thin. There's only you know, like most of the time, some departments don't have detectives. They don't have a sex crimes, like organization. I mean, some don't barely even have a major case. This is why there's vigilant people out there to hold the community safe to protect the children out there. And there are good poacher channels out there. I watch them because I like to see real disgusting, real sickos and creeps get exposed and off the street. Oh shit, there's your pickup truck there, Philemon. Sputtering out again. Damn, that thing barely even runs there, fella frail. Damn. Where are you going there, Philemon? You going to Eric Spitfire's house so you could cook for him? Yeah, okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, this is what I like my videos. I like to have a good time. We gotta have we gotta have some laughs. This is what it's all about. I like to, you know, I like to address it, you know, about the news, the situation, what's going around the society world addressed by the truth but you know i like to have a couple laughs you know take a little light swings a little above the bell you know you know you gotta make it funny you know you gotta you gotta have a little roast fest but keep it funny anyways yeah like i said you know i do like i said there are many people that enjoy their poetry channel like edward s he's an advocate that's why he's a moderator and philemon pisses on him like talking about oh yeah hey we're just about vegas you know bump stocks like ar 15s they get people pissed on me because I think AR-15 should be banned. Well, fuck, man. Look at the statistics. Look at all these, like, the Parkland, S Sandy Hook, Uval, Aurora. I mean, come on. Buffalo. What are they all committed by? AR-15s. Statistics and the and facts don't lie. Yeah. And that showed that as a fact and, and a screenshot. Yeah. All the crimes. Then you got pukes like yeah, fellow family, his little, little cuck bitch minions. Sitting there saying, oh, Sandy, oh, oh, oh there's no victim. So, it's so fake. No one died in the Sandy Hook. No one died in the Buffalo. No one died in the Parkland. No one died in Uvalde. Oh, the cops were doing the right thing. Bullshit. They're sitting there for 40 fucking minutes and threaten to arrest the parents that go in, arrest in there. And parents will say, fuck it, if you won't do nothing, I'm going in there. I don't give a shit if I take a bullet to save my child. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and I missed it deep in this video. I've been rambling on and on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then Philemon goes in Discord on UBK, get his little Mimi and sheeple to attack me. Then they fucking bitch him on with if I block or censor comments. Yeah, when you make a basis bullshit, making serious accusations with that fucking shred of truth, a basis bullshit, and Gerson just to fuck the algorithm and just to simply spam. Yeah, get the fuck out of here like that. That's why I round him up with the fucking cowboy trick and put him in the trash can. Yep. 
And next up, fucking landfill from the fucking Bambians. And a few more socks around, I'll fucking round them up, fucking put them out there. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know. I mean, seriously. You know, I, I know I thought it was so funny it was. I was talking to my co-worker, Steve, earlier. Yeah, he, he, he's been, he's, he got a girlfriend, like, he's been seeing her for the last couple of weeks. I said, bro, you've been so happy, bro. <laughs> he said, yeah, man, I got a wonderful, I got a hot chick, you like that. He showed a picture, like, yeah. I said, dude, she's good looking. She's a good looking blonde. Like, yeah, bro, she's half mine. Like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck, man? You're 42 years old. You're your girlfriend's one. Like, yeah, man, is it awesome? Is it awesome dating a girl? I'm like, no, it's not, dude. You just seen you put on the same fucking bullshit you when you're 20 years ago get out of college getting your apprentice and fucking shit like that. That's why I got me a girlfriend like that's three years older than I was, man. I can appreciate it. I don't have to think about the fucking future with Sandy. I take a bay day by day. That's the beauty of it like that, man. <laughs> I'm like, Steve, good luck with that, man. I mean, back in the old days when you're having sex, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you got to fucked impress. You got to, you know, you want to keep a foreplay, all that shit like that. He said, I mean, I mean, when you get to my age, you don't think about sex. I mean, once in a while, I mean, sometimes you just got to have sex to have it, not want it. You know what I'm saying? You know, like with Sandy, I took her on a date. She wanted a little fellatio. I said, well, I don't know, 15 minutes, a quick like that. And she said, no, Tom, it, it's going to be one more than that. All right. So I'll miss it. Maybe I'll mix the next bus. I'll get the one after that. No problem. So I get home a little later. And that's going to be. Okay. So no problem. Da -da 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 okay. A little foreplay like that. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, okay, I'm done. That's it for me. Okay, yeah. It's like it falls out. You get done. You get tired out, you know. I got done. I said, I said, babe, I'm going to the fridge where I get something to drink. I say, I say, yeah. Oh, could you? Uh, uh, uh. She said, oh, you're going to get it. I was going to get a party. What? You want me to get one to turn Sandy? I was like, uh, no, let's share the big one in the fridge right there. There's a fruit punch in there. It's a big one. Let's share it again. Like, hey, no problem, babe. No problem. Anyways, I'm out here. My job. Peace out. Much love, respect, and prayers. All that good stuff.